how it is to be seen here in Kitchen Potter Amazon. Let's do that. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another special episode of Giri's Kitchen. This week, I have another special guest with me, Kaho. Thank you for joining me today, Kaho. It's actually January 2nd. Guys, stop. It's January 2nd where I am currently, so we're going to actually be celebrating. So we're actually gonna be celebrating the new year. So we're gonna be making a traditional Japanese new year dish called osachi. I think it's gonna turn out amazing. So let's just jump right into the cooking together. Let's go. Yeah. Keep stalling. I'm not stalling, chat. I cut the ends of my, my sweet potato. What are you even talking yeah. about? I'm not stalling. I'm peeling my sweet potato. So normally for osachi or for like nimono, it goes with those like small little pieces of taro. Oh my God, my sweet potato is coming. I cut it in, and it starts to like have white stuff come out. What? But normally you're supposed to use like the little baby taros. However, apparently a lot of people can get allergic. Are you allergic to baby taro? Have you tried holding no. them before? I'm I'm pretty sure I'm okay with like I'm not allergic to any food, any ingredients, so it didn't happen to me, oh. but apparently there's like a an allergen or an irritant in the yeah. skin of the raw taro or the flesh of the taro. So if you're holding oh, it yeah. and you're like kind of like manipulating it kind of thing, rolling it around, it will end up getting on your skin and it'll make you really itchy. So it's recommended that you wear gloves. They were really slippery, so I just didn't want to like mess with them. And I think the purple for the purple yam is really pretty. Yeah. So instead of taro, yeah. we're gonna use the sweet potato. We're actually gonna boil these really quick while I prepare oh, nice. everything else. The lotus root, these are the pre-boiled ones. I didn't get the raw ones just because I was lazy. <laughs> and they already had the pre-boiled ones already. So I did that one. And I also have chestnut. Okay, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. I don't know why I'm taking oh. out like almost all of it. Just, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. Look at the water. It's blue. <gasps> it's burning. It's blue. Wow. The sweet potato itself is wow. purple, but the water is blue. So what mm. I was doing is I'm just parboiling it. So it's like a little mm. bit slightly boiled. It's not boiled all the way through because it still needs a lot of time to simmer in like the dashi <gasps> stock. So for now, I'm just boiling it slightly so it can be a little bit cooked. So I have my lotus root that's already mm. cooked already. What is your favorite like osechi, I guess, thing to uh, eat? I like kurikinto and datemaki. That's the maki is the one with egg. It's tamagoyaki, uh -huh. the cooked egg, but in, um, somehow it just looks visually stunning. Is it um, just egg in there or is there like other things in there as well? Probably just egg, but it's very like a spongy. It's kind of like a sponge cake. And I wasn't able to find konyaku, which is the traditional ingredient to add in there. Mm. I couldn't find it, so I just have my shirataki, which are like the, the little knots. Shirataki is the same thing as konyaku in like the uh, the ingredient, right? Yeah, or is it different? Much, yes. I okay. like shirataki more. Konyaku can be a little bit too sturdy for my texture. Mm -hmm. Shirataki is pretty much like a noodle, so I like noodles. Are you a rice girl or a noodle girl? Like if you had to eat one thing only, uh, would you prefer? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I would choose noodle over rice just because of the variation. You chose correctly. We can remain mm -hmm. friends now. Yeah. I cut up my bamboo just now. Mm -hmm. So the nimono is going to have chestnut, shirataki, mm -hmm. lotus root, purple sweet potatoes, yeah. and this. What is this again? Bamboo. Oh, right. The carrot. We forgot the most important thing for a oh, second. Yeah. The carrot. The carrot. I wanted to make like cute shapes out of it, but I wasn't able ah! to find oh, like, like the little flower cutter. So I have... um. A gingerbread man <laughs> instead. Wait. So normally you can just cut them yeah, however you want. Powder. But this time, yeah, let's see if, if, what this animal. does. I'm using like the leg part of my gingerbread. Oh, it's a chef hat. No. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You know what huh? I can do? I was going to say it looks like a chef hat, but you know what I can it, do? It looks very fairy kazoo. I should have said that. Oh. I was going to cut off the corners <laughs> to make it into a yeah. heart, but you know what? Kaha wants to eat my phallic it's carrot. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm sold. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep making phallic mm. carrots. Um, you want your mm. carrots to be, I don't know, maybe a centimeter mm. thick. You don't want it too, too thick or else it's going to not cook thoroughly. Right. The short ones, it wow. looks like a butt. We have an ass and penis. Wow. Uh, you only need a few. You don't need like a crazy amount because normally mm. this is just for like decoration. And the same thing with Okra. Okra, we're actually gonna parboil these okra. as well. But okra, before we just start cutting it. Okra, yes. there's actually a way apparently to prepare it, to wash it a yeah. little bit, and you don't actually use water. Right. Apparently you use salt. Did you know that? Oh yeah. You're not supposed okay. to put it in water for too long. Yeah, apparently to like clean it or whatever, you sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, and then you're supposed to just yeah. rub it, and then you wanna push it together, and you want it to rub upon each other, and also on the cutting mm. board, so it oh. has like, it's like touching wow. all the surfaces and you just keep mushing it and then once
once you have like equal coating and then you want to just like clean the shaft and then make sure there's a lot of like grooves and stuff so just make sure you get all the sides and then once you're done just give it one last little rub down and then give it a gold rolled rinse and then it should be good i'm going to fill this a little bit of water so we can um parboil this as well actually you know what i'm going to add a bit more water i'm going to boil the okay. chestnuts as well ah yes it's gonna take some time so okra it doesn't take too long to boil this usually i think yeah, once the water starts nice. boiling you can take it out and then for the chestnuts we'll leave it for a little bit longer yeah. maybe an extra like two three minutes right. again we're going to be boiling everything in the dashi as well. It'll have plenty of time to cook, but we're just giving it a little bit of a head start. PTSD, the girl not washing her rice? Who didn't wash her rice? Wait, not me. I always wash my rice. Me who? Yeah, that's like unthinkable. Yeah, literally <laughs> unforgivable for a person to not you wash rice. Be. And if you want to make your little lotus root pretty, you can also mm. make these into a flower too by cutting like around the circle bits and then you can make them into like a cute little flower thing. It looks like a flower in it. But apparently Really? You can also use lotus root and make it into like a skull for like Halloween and stuff. Ow. This is your beginning, right? So that now you have mm -hmm. your two big holes and your two small holes. And then you kind of like oh, shape the oh. face a little bit. Look, it turns into a skull. Yeah, I was that's actually horrible. I was actually going to like make all the lotus roots into skulls mm -hmm. and I'm just like, wait, hold on. Maybe it's not good luck if I that's welcome true, in yeah. the new year. It's to be all about good luck. <laughs> And then we have our meaty, which is our sweet uh, sake. Oh, I forgot my soy sauce, the most like important ingredient. And I also need a otoshi buta. Is that what it's called? Oh, otoshi buta, um, otoshi buta. If I can't find it, I will make one out of parchment paper. That's okay as well. <gasps> have I been oh. putting in sugar like instead of salt? Oh my god, I think I have. I was washing my okra with sugar, not salt. We're well, gonna have sweet okra. You would think that I would know, but I just I just realized that I think uh Yeah. That's like a basic mistake. <laughs> Don't yell That's an honest Tahoe. mistake though. Wow. That's an honest mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my like chestnuts and everything, because these take a little bit longer to boil and they're mm. a bit more resilient to boiling, but ultimately you're just gonna mm. put all your ingredients in there. I'm not prepared. Mega chat, okay? It was just one brief lapse in judgment. The carrots, I think we can add in a little bit later because because the carrots are quite thin, I don't think they need to be in there the whole time. Oh, I just realized, what if the purple sweet potato dyes the color of the normal? Oh, right. So everything turns Notice blue. I forgot true. about oh that. My God. So I have my parchment paper. I'll show you how to make an atoshi buta or like a drop lid. So normally in this situation, if I were to put just a regular lid on, there's still pieces of like mm. veggies or whatever you're trying to boil or simmer mm. exposed to the top of the liquid. So you want to mm. basically make something that pushes everything down mm -hmm. and catches the steam so it'll like recirculate so you're like keeping all the juices and stuff inside get a piece that is like the size of your hand so i can see here that this one's a little bit longer so i'm just going to cut off a little bit of the extra and you can do this really really quick just oh, with like your it. scissors so you get a rough size for your circle so we're going to fold it in half turn it around and fold it in half again until we get like a nice little like edge onto the same corner like this so we're going to fold it in, into a triangle and then we're going to fold it again into like a little cone and you want to keep the the end as even as possible and then one more time if you can it'll just make the circle a bit more neat so you have like this little oh. thing here now so basically what this is going to do is this will be the half diameter of your circle so you want to okay. aim it generally into the middle and then you want to see where it ends so it ends over here so i have my tip in the okay. middle ish try to remember where it was and then cut it off yeah. ideally you should have a circle but we're not done yet because we want to make some little holes for ventilation so you're going to fold it back and then you want to cut little holes in the sides like oh. making a snowflake and it shouldn't be too hard did i just cut my glove <gasps> i just cut my glove but see look Okay, so we're gonna put this in. I can see the colors changing a little bit, actually. I don't oh, know wow. if you guys can tell, but it's okay. Maybe it'll just be a cool, interesting looking thing. Everything is being pushed down now, so everything is touching the liquid. Mm. So it it's should so have like a more impressive. even. Yeah. You made all the shibuta out of a cooking paper. Wow. <laughs> oh no, I forgot my shirataki. Oh, oh, I swear I'm not normally this chaotic when I'm cooking. I don't know if I'm coming off as chaotic to you right now, which I probably am not. This is <laughs> 
all for content. I'm forgetting on yeah. purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna put this into the other side while we slowly work on some other things. We're gonna do like a beef roll as well. I actually don't know how that's gonna turn out. We're gonna have to say a little bit of a prayer for that one. So on YouTube, they had this like really pretty like beef roll thing that I wanted to try. But before that, I think we can maybe do the tamagoyaki first because tamagoyaki takes oh. time to cool down. Oh, you're making tamagoyaki, nice. Yeah. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna saute off some salmon. So a lot of things for osechi is about color. Mm -hmm. All the foods that you eat in osechi, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're all supposed to mean like good luck stuff, right? Yes, yes, yes. So as outside of just having it taste good and have good meaning, they have to look pretty as well. So I think for our pink component, I'll use uh, salmon eat? instead. Oh, salmon! We're gonna saute off some salmon just to have it ready on the side. And we're gonna put it in the oh. tamagoyaki. And then I want to like use like nori to roll it. So we're gonna have like an inside of like a black nori and like pink salmon. Does Japan celebrate Lunar New Year? Not very, no. I I thought you guys did. Like a different holiday. It's like international holiday to be seen here. Just to cut an Amazon sale. Cool. Uh. Did I see that? My salmon caught on fire. I'm just sauteing this with oil. Nothing really fancy. Again, I'm gonna taste it just to see if I like the base taste. And if I think it needs salt, just add some salt or, or whatever you think you want. I don't know if you mentioned that. I don't know if I can ask, but is, is Kaho like huh. your stage name or is that like your real name? Oh yeah, that's like uh, my stage name. So my legal name, like I very use that. That's uh -huh. like I'm at the clinic or I'm doing taxes, so. Have you ever had an issue when you were outside and maybe like oh. you almost said your real name too? Usually the opposite. Even though like I'm supposed to say my real name, like a legal name. Yeah, like okay. I'm making an appointment at a dentist and then I was gonna say the guy I'm going to, oh no, 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 just forget it. <laughs> that seems like a good problem yeah. to have. <laughs> So we have our tamagoyaki. This is just egg, a little bit of water for fluffiness, okay. and a little bit oh, of dashi nice. powder. And I add a little bit of sugar, some salt. Oh, I forgot my mirror. So I have my tamagoyaki. I'm gonna get my seaweed out. Yeah! Yeah, look at that! I'm gonna try to get a piece of uh, nori that's the size of the pan, like maybe about this much. And it doesn't have to be too thick because we're gonna be rolling it for a few times before we actually add the nori so it's stronger. So you wanna get your tamagoyaki pan. You can use a circular pan if you don't have one, but it won't turn out as pretty. So get a right. rectangular one if you can. And a trick to see if your pan is hot enough, grab a bit of egg, draw a line. If you can see a line on your pan, uh -huh. it means that it's ready. I had to put a diaper on Pom Pom again because she got into the garbage. Oh, diaper! She's an old dog, uh -huh. so she can't control her butt sometimes. Uh -huh. Don't look at my scrambled yeah. egg tamakoyaki. Thank you about Pom Pom. Okay, I think I'm going to do maybe one more layer. So you have to like, put it on your scalp? Uh, yeah, so like before, oh, this one did not oh, turn oh. out that well. Uh. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm not okay. It just started okay. like a morning. Oh my god. I did crispy one. <gasps> oh, I ruined oh. it! I ruined my tamagoyaki. Kaho, I promise I know how to make tamagoyaki, okay? <laughs> Normally ask yeah, Oni, bro. I don't know anything. Hey, shut up! I know you know. I know you know. <laughs> chimichanga. Oh god. It's not a chimichanga. Who said that? So I have my sushi mat. We're actually gonna cool it down the oh, sushi cool. mat now. Okay, so I have my tamagoyaki. It's gonna be cooling in here so I can hold its shape a little bit. I just f***ed up a little. So I don't know if it'll be like super secure. Oh, we can do the we can do the shrimp. I was gonna do honey and butter. What? How do you like your shrimp prepared, Kaho? I need shrimp cocktail, which is not very Japanese. <laughs> I think that's my favorite shrimp dish. Should I just, in honor of Kaho's shrimp cocktail love, should I just boil the shrimp and then just have like a sauce thing on the side? Yeah. I think I'll just saute it like normal, just like a little bit of salt oh. Oh, and yeah, the MSG. Okay, let me wipe these down so it's not so wet, and I'm gonna fry them up a little. Do you usually cook a lot? when you're at home? I don't remember if I've asked you. No. no. <laughs> I have my sauteed shrimp. Um, let me check on my nimono really, really quickly. Let oh, me see yeah, the condition. Yeah. <gasps> my nimono is purple! <laughs> Stop laughing, it's not funny! Oh my god. My osechi was supposed to be colorful, but now it's just literally one color. It's extra colorful. Oh, my chestnuts are so yellow though. 
I can try my skull. I'm just gonna taste to see for flavor. It definitely tastes good. Should we do the beef rolls or the rice balls? Maybe the beef, beef rolls beef first. Mm. I have some green onions. The beef roll that I'm gonna, that I was thinking of making mm. is, um, stop spamming unwashed rice, chat. If you just come here by accident or just like, just to see what's going on, what they're gonna think I'm stupid, okay? I wash my rice and the one time I forget, stop spamming lies. So we're gonna like basically prepare some of the things that gonna go inside the beef roll and we're gonna roll all the pretty colors up and ideally we are gonna season wow. them and then when you slice them in half it shows all like the pretty colors so there's gonna be green yeah. orange from the carrot and I think there's going to be some red from the kimchi and then we're gonna roll it up in the beef the potato thinly slice some potatoes so we have a little bit of carb so they're all going into the beef roll Potatoes are sliced. I have all the stuff that goes into the rolls ready. So this is um, shabu shabu meat. It's looking kind of thin. So I'm gonna try one just like by itself and just see if it'll work out. And you don't have to season no, the meat what? just it's yet. Shabu shabu meat. It's supposed to be onomatopoeia for the sound. Uh, hot just water moving chat. your chopsticks and like you make the sound like shabu shabu. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five rolls. I got arrested for yeah. like having because like sometimes mm -hmm. you cannot. I will be seasoning it. Don't worry. I only season it with MSG, not even salt, because I will be putting in. Technically, it should be teriyaki, but I only have yakiniku tare. We're going oh, to. Oh, um, yakiniku tare! Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna condense the yakiniku tare into the sauce. But if you have uh, teriyaki, use teriyaki. So out of like shabu shabu or hot pot mm. versus yakiniku, what do you prefer more? I feel like skiyaki is like more luxurious than yakiniku. Like yakiniku can be quite casual. But you don't do yeah. skiyaki with your friends that much. It's more for like a big meeting with your client, like a dinner meeting. Oh wait, really? So shabu shabu or, or, or whatever is actually like a fancy yeah. dinner in Japan. Definitely, yeah. Shabu shabu healthy. Too, like you can get a lot of veggies. Like they can be oh. really more expensive. Oh, that's fascinating because I know like hot pot isn't quite the same as shabu shabu, but as far as China goes, it's meant to be a family ordeal or like a big group of friends. Mm. It's meant to be casual because you're all sharing the same pot and everyone's like drinking and laughing. Oh, so yeah. it's meant to be like a fun family mm. kind of thing. Yeah. We're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Do oh, I know I cannot smell but I always find it really funny when like um, when I cook with like friends that I'm cooking at their place or they're coming yeah. over and I literally only have onions and garlic in the pan yeah. and without a uh. doubt everyone's like mmm. <laughs> what is that? It sounds really and I, I literally didn't even start yet. It's literally just garlic and onions and like oh my god, what is that? Amazing smell. What are you working on, Gary? I think my beef looks good. What do you what do you think? They look amazing stunning! Give me that. I'm gonna slice the tamagoyaki. We still have the onigiri to make, but I can slice this first because I'm just curious. Well, I mean, is it super pretty? No, but the idea is there. It looks like a tree. It's a tamagoyaki. I tried my best. Okay, I'm gonna make the onigiri now. I want this on record. I choked because people are watching me, so there's no way that I can actually min like execute it perfectly on camera. You guys don't understand the pressures of being on camera and having to do something that's really technically challenging, okay? I was gonna add in the purple furikake, but I think I'm gonna add in the pink one instead for color. I have the salmon oh. furikake. I was gonna do purple because I thought that the nimono was gonna be like more brownish, but now that the nimono is like all completely <laughs> purple. purple, I think um, I'll just use the salmon furikake to make it like prettier. Everything is purple. Like nothing is this original color oh, the anymore. Carrot? Oh, I'm not sure about the carrot. Uh, the carrot, I actually, I mean, the carrot, I totally boiled because I didn't forget to do that. Well, who's stupid enough to forget to boil the carrot? You know, not me. Honestly, the yellow has a nice contrast. Yeah. To the purple. I just wish there was like other colors going on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is where movie magic comes in, okay? When I show you the dish, just say that it's cooked. The people on YouTube, they don't have to know the truth. Why do they need to know whether the carrots are cooked or not? It looks like it's cooked, it's bright orange. With the colors, it actually looks kind of wow. legit. And these are the beef rolls. I think it'll look cuter if you had like green beans or maybe something that has oh, a green yeah. that's a little bit sturdier. Oh, I think the green onions kind of like melted into like into the heat or whatever. So it's not as obvious, but it still looks kind of cute. You want it on your row? Okay, okra, I actually forgot to season. There might be some sugar on it, but it's okay, just eat, eat the rest of this. 
of stuff, okay? I'm gonna be real though, my premonition is Onipro might not love it just because he, one, he doesn't like shrimp. I think the mm. only thing he's actually going to enjoy might just be yeah. the rice and the beef oh. rolls because he doesn't actually enjoy seafood that much. Oh, yeah? And he doesn't like boiled stuff. Set the salmon on fire, burn the egg, ruin the tamago yaki. It's not true! Video editors, make sure you edit in that my tamago yaki turned out absolutely perfect. Everything has been thoroughly seasoned. This was meant to be purple. Everything was cooked beautifully. Nothing ripped, okay? So, oh, that's not bad. 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, for things he doesn't like love eating, it's not bad. The highest I've ever gotten was 9.5, I think. And here we have our completed dish. We made osechi today, which is typically a New Year's bento box full of a bunch of different little dishes here and there. I only made a few selections just because I don't have three days to make everything, but we made rice balls, tamagoyaki with salmon, beef rolls with some veggies, shrimp, and um, nimono, which is a really typical like boiled dashi root vegetable kind of dish. Kaho, thank you very, very much for joining me. Thank you for keeping me company and teaching me a lot about like Japanese culture, this and that. I hope you uh, had fun. Yes, I had so much fun. Thank you so much for including me in this like amazing, amazing cookie stream. Just yeah. too bad I cannot taste. And everybody who's interested in finding Kaho's socials and all that stuff, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description down below. What is your favorite thing to eat for New Year's uh, for your own culture? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. Like the video, <laughs> click the bell, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye, <laughs>